everybody, welcome to Shaz's movie review channel of G.I. Joe, starring Bruce Willis, The Rock from the Famous Wrestler and Heavyweight Federation Fight Event, then the old character Zartan and Snake Eyes. The movie begins with a nuclear issue and lawlessness in Pakistan and the overthrow of government, and the Taliban overtaking the Pakistani nuclear plant and controlling the nuclear launch site. The remote control bullets introduced with the new cans on customized weapons was awesome. The team lands on nuclear plant site. The Taliban in the movie are picked like pimps and virtually no fight from them. Yay, kuch zara sa over exaggeration hai. The next scene, the US president is singing the Cobra tune or the Yankee Doodle song. The scene with the Korean electric fence where the nanomites are spotted in the GI Joe assault. U.S. Cobra team intercepted the G.I. Joe base in Indus Valley Desert. The G.I. Joe is blamed for stealing the nuclear bombs and sabotaging Pakistan's nuclear bombs to be used in the black market. News headlines, bombs and media, typical politics have been stolen. Snake Eyes in German deep below ground prison for ex-G.I. Joe maximum security prison where the average temperature is 200 degrees centigrade heat. Storm Shadow makes his entrance and it's a decoy for Snake Eyes. Storm Shadow fakes his heartbeat inside the tube for the breakout. The next scene with the motorcycle is just amazing. Uh, this, is, this reminds me of Transformers, where firing rockets into the base while at high speed after getting close to the target. The motorcycle transforms into five separate pieces to target the approaching base. It's just amazing. The scene where the storm shadow gets flamed from the exploding fuel tank burns his entire back. This is the reality of chemical warfare, even though not in the movie, but this is how bad the burns can get or worse. Bruce Willis' entry from his own home. His home is like a storage depot for all the weapons. The next scene, kidnapped employee of the president. Snake eyes in the mountains getting assistance from healer. It's fully recovered. The fight scene with the snake eyes and storm shadow, the machine gun versus the ninja stars. The next scene is in the mountains is just something from Spider-Man using cables. It's an outstanding action yet mind-boggling fight on the cliff hanging from cables. The noise from the shot of the gun makes usually the glacier or the snow hanging fall below. Typical snowfall in the mountains. Girl takes off her dress. Pretty intense reflection, I would say. The U.S. nuclear threat is 14 times more damaging than the average nuclear retaliation from all countries combined. A COBRA leader gives launch to attack on all eight countries and orders them to sign up the unlimited surrender or complete control or loyalty from them. Zartan is killed by Storm Shadow, dodging bullets, Storm Shadow. Amphibious assault vehicles are shown in protecting the eight countries. Remote override to cancel the attack was really cool. Eight satellites self-destruct. Overall, it was an 8 out of 10, really kept me on my feet throughout the movie. I must see. Until next time, keep smiling.